God's story, the Red Sea. So part of God's story is about how God rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. And it goes like this. God's family, the Israelites, were forced to work as slaves in a place called Egypt. Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, made them work incredibly hard all day long, and he didn't care if they were suffering or hungry or hurt. But God cared about his special family, and he saw what Pharaoh was doing to them, so he planned a rescue. And to help with the rescue plan, God sent a man named Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and into a brand new home <laughs> called the Promised Land. Moses told Pharaoh to let the Israelites go, but Pharaoh said no. Now, Pharaoh may have been the ruler of Egypt, but God was in control. So God sent nine plagues to show Pharaoh his power. The river turned to blood. He sent frogs and gnats and flies buzzing around. He sent famine that killed the livestock. He made gross boils and disease appear on people's skin. He sent icy hail from the sky. He sent swarms of locusts to fill the air. He covered everything in complete darkness, even during the day. And after each of these plagues, Moses asked Pharaoh to let God's people go, but Pharaoh kept saying no. So finally, Moses told Pharaoh that there would be one more plague. God told Moses to have every family paint their doorpost with lamb's blood, and if they didn't, the oldest son in the house would die. <laughs> After that, Pharaoh finally said to the Israelites, get out. So the Israelites hurried as fast as they could and left that night. They didn't know exactly where they were going, but God promised that he would show them the way. He sent a huge cloud for the Israelites to follow during the day and a giant pillar of fire to guide them and keep them warm at night. Every day, God led the Israelites through the desert until finally they reached the edge of the big sea. But then, in the distance behind them, they could see Pharaoh and his army chasing after them. Pharaoh had changed his mind again and he wanted the Israelites back. God's family was trapped. The Egyptian army was behind them, but a giant sea was in front of them. The sea was too deep to walk or swim through and they didn't have boats. There was nowhere else to go. But Moses told the people, don't be afraid. The Lord himself will fight for you. You need only to be still. Kids, would you trust God if he told you to be still, even if it didn't make sense to you? Well. God caused a giant cloud to move behind the Israelites to hide them from the Egyptians. He told Moses to pick up his staff and raise his hand over the sea. Then God sent a strong wind to blow over the water all night long, making a path of dry land appear at the bottom. The Israelites walked across the dry path with walls of water on each side of them. God had provided a way, just like he promised. Once the Israelites were in the middle of the sea, the Egyptians started to chase them, but God confused their army and caused their chariots to get stuck. They started running away because they realized that God was helping the Israelites. And as soon as every single Israelite had crossed to the other side of the water, God told Moses to raise his hand over the sea again, and the waters rushed back. The Israelites were safe because God had rescued them. The Israelites finally saw how powerful God was. They realized that they could trust him and put their faith in him. They worshiped and thanked God singing, the Lord gives me strength and protects me. He has saved me. He is my God and I will praise him. And that's the story of the Israelites and the Red Sea. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God's family were slaves. God sent Moses to help rescue them. Moses told Pharaoh to let God's people go. Pharaoh said no. God sent plagues. Pharaoh said yes. The Israelites escaped. Pharaoh's army chased them. God gave them a path through the sea. The Israelites escaped to the other side. God rescued them. And that's a part of God's story. <laughs>